So here's a shot of the new design, basically uh, in all its glory, other than I do not have uh, my brake discs on here, which will be running off these shafts, uh, which is going to give me my steering. So right now the drive mecha mechanism is fairly finished, except I have no way to steer. So in my next video I may possibly try driving it without steering just to see what happens but uh, anyhow so uh, uh, you got the transmission differential setup turned sideways a little bit better shot of it here now that I got it up in the air uh, one side of the original axle driving this track this way and then this horrifying contraption here is allowing me to drive the back side of the chain which is giving me my change in direction, so the screws are turning opposite. Uh, so I have two idlers. Uh, the reason for all this, and not just one idler, is that I did want a good wrap around this gear instead of just a few teeth touching quite a bit. So I'm driving this way, so it's actually pulling on this in forward direction anyways. And then these are just idlers going around. In reverse, it will be pulling on this. Uh, not sure if it's actually strong enough for reverse yet. Uh, time will tell. But uh, you can see it's fairly well reinforced. Uh, quite a bit of gusseting going on. I'll give you a shot from the bottom here. Uh, looking up. So, anyways. We'll see how that works out. This is slotted for the adjustment on the tension of the chain. And I'm just adjusting the chain tension by this bearing on this screw here and then doing the same on the front of the screw just to make sure the screws are parallel. So this is the underside of the tractor looking straight up. Uh, so you can get an idea exactly what's going on here. Uh, we've got the front drive shaft from the PTO that I've made. It is now driving the input of the transmission uh, just through a three-quarter inch shaft. I think that's probably strong enough because that's just straight off the engine. It's not torque multiplied yet uh, from the differential. Uh, and then as you can see here inputs going in here. These are the original drive axles. So one side is driving one chain, the other side through this jack shaft is going forward to, this, to the second screw. Um, see I've also put a kind of a hanger bearing on the end of this axle and I've braced it all with angle iron up to the second bearing over here. Uh, because the way this um, chassis is designed, the tunnel is just kind of a big U. I needed something to tie the bottom in together. And this way, this chain pulling is not going to be able to pull this axle shaft towards the jack shaft. It's all fairly well braced, so I don't think I'm going to have a problem there. Uh, basically see here this now this shaft is basically double hung as well as I have a mount in here so hopefully that doesn't break I don't know I'm scared of everything now so anyhow that's where I'm at with that I still have no steering at all uh, and I'm actually I'll start it up here for you I haven't started it yet I actually just finished welding all the stuff some of it's a little bit hot but uh, I'm gonna fire it up and see what happens here as far as the screws turning and this should be interesting I'm sure oh and I also almost forgot uh, I did uh, fit the fender to the tractor had to cut out the hole for the shifter there and uh, actually with the seat on it actually fits quite well so I have room to shift here uh, through all the gears and uh, it all kind of tucks in here a lot better than it did before and just enough clearance for all this stuff, so I'm uh, fairly happy with that. So here it is. I'm going to start it up first run. Uh, just I'm going to have it hanging in the air on the hoist here. Just going to see how the screws work, how they spin. 
Uh, I got a piece of wood here I can jam into these chains hopefully uh, just to see one side or the other uh, because there is a differential it may just spin one screw uh, more than likely this one because this one has a hell of a lot more resistance shouldn't affect it hopefully when it's on the ground but in the air I may so uh, I'm gonna start it out this would be first uh, second reverse and then third fourth I'm just gonna start it up in first gear and see what happens here. The screws are going to be spinning fairly slowly, but uh, obviously you won't be able to hear me talk with this beast running, but let's see here. Okay. say that's working pretty good I think uh, like I said before there's tons of torque there so I have no idea if it's all just gonna mulch again or what's gonna happen I'm actually very scared to even put this thing on the ground because I don't know if I can take another catastrophic failure but uh, I think I'll roll it out into the gravel at the back parking lot here and see exactly what happens uh, it's nighttime now so uh, uh, maybe I'll do it tomorrow. I'm not sure. I'm scared to put it on the ground, like I said. Anyways, uh, we'll see how it goes. Oh, one more thing, yeah. I forgot uh, one of my most uh, important modifications. Uh, took out the steering wheel uh, where it went here, and I installed this beautiful cup holder. So now I can put my uh, beer in here while I'm steering. And, uh, you know, it's not going to interfere with the uh, ride of the vehicle. So... If nothing else, I can sit on this thing somewhere in the woods and uh, drink beer and have a cup holder. And it's going to make a hell of a lawn ornament. <laughs> 